Hello and welcome along and welcome back to ETS2. We are in our truck here and we are no longer in Copenhagen. So if you saw last Thursday's video, um, then you, you saw that we made it all the way to Copenhagen. Unfortunately, in switching from my main PC to the laptop, we have lost part of the journey. So we've only made it as far as Bremen here. So what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to try and pick ourselves up uh, something here from the external contracts. Uh, head off and see where we can make it and see what we can get uh, and go from here. So let's have a look at the external contracts and see where we can go for the most money for the, uh, the least uh, travel. So that would head us to the Czech Republic. I really kind of want to go north from here. But it looks like pretty much everything is going south. Uh, and it's only worth 22,000. So we had a 44,000 um, contract. Uh, and we've lost it. And we've lost all that money. Hence the reason why we're so low on it at the moment. We could take tractors to Poland. Which would probably be a pretty good choice for us. Not a massive journey, uh, 23,000, uh, 47, what are we, uh, we're on price, we don't want to be on price, we want to be price per distance, uh, so we've got a short trip to Amsterdam, the tractors is the most profitable at the short, uh, at this, so yeah, we're going to take tractors to Poland, so let's crack on with that. Pick that up and we'll go and grab ourselves a uh, go and grab ourselves a couple of tractors and take them off to Poland. There we go. Load it in. And off we go. Starter up. Yeah, so we had uh, a little bit of an issue with uh, the road on the way over here as well. Might as well fill up with fuel seeing as we're at a fuel station. Not that we overly need it. So turn off. Fill her up. Shouldn't cost us too much, I don't think. Yeah. There we go. Fuel tank is fuel. Full. Now someone was suggesting last time that I... Uh, I go and do this, or I go and, um... oh, I forget where I was going with that. This is the fun of watching me. I leave all of these little things in because I have no idea what I was talking about. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go and pick up these tractors. I completely lost my train of thought with what I was doing there. Uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah, so I found myself halfway around the motorway coming up to Bremen. Uh, I uh, no longer had the trailer on. I uh, hadn't made the money. We were at 104, and I managed to get into Bremen. I had a few little bits of cost in getting down here, and uh, and yeah, so we've uh, we've got to pick it up. We are at a farm, though, which is uh, pretty good good place for us to pick up some tractors and what we got we've got what are they i'm not exactly sure what those are let's stick our head out of that we've certainly got a dunks here though with our flame so let's bring back up from the other way to see this properly i'm looking out my other as well there we go connect this up There we go. And we are ready to head off. Alright, let's get going. Oh. There we are. And we're off. Heading to, uh, I think it's Lutz in Poland. Not exactly sure. Like many things on this, uh, I am not overly sure uh, exactly how I pronounce it. But we will uh, we'll head on out. We'll go and get ourselves on the road uh, and get things moving. And, uh, and I'll pick this up once we are onto the motorway a bit. 
safely onto the motorway and moving along nicely, cruising nicely. Uh, we have about 10, just over 10 hours, 10 hours, 40 minutes left on this journey. Uh, and uh, expected to get there probably about half past seven at the speed that we're, uh, we're going. Currently estimating at 20 past eight, but based on, uh, on what we've done previously, uh, we should be okay for, for getting there a little bit earlier than that. So hopefully, unlike last time, we should be looking at most of this being in the daylight, which would be pretty good. Uh, I would like, uh, I'd like to have that. Um, 22,000, so this sh should take us back up above 100,000, uh, which, uh, which we need to be. Uh, and, uh, and of course, the, the aim I have over the next few videos, because it seems that you guys want to watch these, actually, as much as you want to watch my farm sim stuff at the moment, which I'm very, very pleased about, uh, to instill a little bit of, uh, of difference in the channel, uh, is that we're, we're going to be trying to get ourselves... Probably got enough to buy our own trailer now, but I want to uh, to sort of build up a bit towards it. I'd like to head round and explore some of the DLC stuff. So we're we're heading over to Poland is actually really good uh, from here, and gives us a, a really good area to go from. We do have a garage over there actually. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. It's not where we're ending up at the moment. Um, and sort of just heading over there and, uh, and doing that and seeing where we get to. Uh, yeah, and just really building our money up after, after this bit of a disaster of losing that massive, massive contract. Uh, we had completed it and we had reached the next level and everything. I just think it didn't save for whatever reason. Um, and so has, uh, has mucked up. But anyway, uh, we are moving nicely it's going to be a little while before we reach anywhere though so uh yeah we'll see how much we can shave off this i think coming off here and heading southerly i think or oh, maybe that's it i think that's heading off north so we are heading this way uh where are we heading towards not sure at the moment i missed that on the road sign. i think it might be towards berlin way so, uh, yeah, let's have a quick look. Uh, no information there at all. Uh, we're just on, a, just on a cruising through. Uh, can I see on the map? Uh, so we've just passed Hamburg, actually. And, uh, and yeah, we're now heading sort of a south... Uh, uh, sorry, an east-southeast uh, direction. Should be making pretty good time. Yeah, we're down to nine hours... Uh, and we've already shaved 20 minutes off this. So, yeah, I think we're going to make really good time and a uh, really good amount. And uh, maybe even we'll be able to pick up another short job in Poland uh, if we're lucky when we get there. Just over 300 miles to go and we're going to be turning off here. I think, I think I was right in the first place. I think we're heading towards Berlin here. So, I'm just going to drop us down. 10. Yep, heading to Berlin. So, let's come off here. Uh, we've managed to knock another 15 minutes off this. So, we're, we're currently 7 hours and 15 minutes away. Ooh. They are waiting to come off. I'm glad I missed that, because that would have been bad. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah. So I, re I reckon half past seven, actually, is going to be a late arrival for us on this. Uh, we, are, we are making really, really good time. I have been using the cruise control. Uh, I managed to find the controls for it in the, uh, uh, when I was set me setting up the controls on this. So now I've got it set so that I can adjust the cruise control. Uh, as much as I want and uh, and move it up and down and it yeah it's brilliant I can hold at 50 miles an hour I know I'm not going to break any speed limits doing that and uh, and and just keep going we have uh, as I said we are knocking even at that speed though even sticking to the speed limit we are making really good time on this and 
uh, and yeah, this should this should be a decent amount of money for us to make off these tractors. And uh, and if we do make that time, we might go and have a little bit of a rest, have a sleep, and uh, and then see if we can get another short little journey out and uh, and see what else, what other money that we can make today. We're actually circling around the top of Berlin at the moment, so. Uh, yeah, Berlin is uh, that way to the south, and we are we are just circling around the top of it, and hopefully, we're, yeah. In fact, no, I can't believe we've knocked another ten minutes off this journey. I, I will. <laughs> we make incredibly good time on this. Uh, I will be very very surprised actually if we don't make it there by seven p.m. at this rate. Uh, but we'll have to see because the things on this now there are I think there are exigents and there might be traffic jams and things and if I remember correctly certainly stuff in the environment changes as it goes so uh, yeah I'm not sure traffic jams so much but uh, yeah certainly there have been um, stops on the side of the road and that kind of thing uh, now we're going to go round Berlin here and head we don't want to go that way uh, we are going to go around here and then we're going to head on to the 12, I think it is by the looks of things. Amazingly, it doesn't look like I've been to most of uh, most of where we're going at the moment. Uh, most, of, uh, most of this is, is unexplored territory. For me. Although, strangely enough, there seems to be a little bit of yellow in the middle of Berlin. Now, I don't know why that would be, because as far as I know, I've not been there on uh, on this, so uh, yeah, it is a little bit odd that there's some yellow in there. Whereas this road is, is completely grey until I drive down it, uh, and then it marks it as as road I visited. So yeah, I've only done twenty six percent of this uh, this game so far. So there's a, a yeah a lot of space left to explore. Now, do I want to come off here? Uh, yes, I do. So, in order for us to not end up in the south of Berlin and to head towards uh, Poland, we want to Oshfart here. And get ourselves onto the 12 so that we can continue to head east. Looks like we're coming up to the Voida checkpoint. Yeah. Here we go, leaving Germany, heading into Poland. Nice, nice, really open. Because this is, of course, because it's the EU. It's uh, and uh, and part of the Schengen. Uh, it's uh, it is just a case of you drive through the border. Uh, there's no security checks, no barriers or anything like that. You just head through. I think we might have a uh, we might have something here. Yeah, is this a passport check? I don't think it is. I think this is. Uh, I think this is actually the start of a toll road. Yeah, this is the start of a toll road, isn't it? So pull her up. Toll or start the toll. There we go. Through we go. Yeah, there are no, uh, there's no passport checks or document checks, but there are toll roads. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we are now on the A2, I believe it is. hours to go on this journey 164 miles and we've got our arrival time down to quarter past seven we have knocked an entire hour of the arrival time now 
this is uh, this is flowing very very nicely. We're coming up to the outskirts of Poznan now, and we have the other side of our tunnel. Okay, so let's see how much this is. Uh, what are we? We're still, we're still just over three hours out. We're still looking at getting there pretty much on 7 p.m. 52 euro toll paid. And out the other side. So, yeah. Not that expensive at all, but we are getting back on the road. And the, the reason I know how to pronounce uh, Poznan, of course, is because I went there last year. I do miss that. I'm, I'm, I miss doing that travelling. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, um, one of the only two places that I've been to in Poland. Uh, and we're passing it currently on our left. As we continue on to boats to drop off our tractors. Looks like we've got another toll bridge. It doesn't mark the tolls on here, but it does mark the, uh, does mark the fuel stations the other side of them by the looks of things I don't think that is a no that is marking at all I thought I thought those brown markings were uh, uh, were fuel stations not tolls but that's marked as going through so we should come out the other side at uh, uh, loads Lots, lots, uh, and should be able. Oh, we should probably pay another fifty-six-ish euros, I think, to come out the other side. Although, as I found out, they do not use euros in Poland. I found that out after getting euros and flying out to Poland, which is, you know. One of those questions you don't think to ask these days. Coming to the outside of Lodz, we've got less than 40 minutes left on the journey. 20 miles to go. And we're looking at getting there at about 10 to 7. We've already breached that 7pm uh, that mark. Which is uh, absolutely cracking. I don't think we are going to have that time for another job. 79 euros for that. That must have been a lot longer trip than the last one we did. Uh, <laughs> just getting to Poznan. Because, wow, uh, that is uh, another 20 euros on top. But we are almost at our destination now. We're going to be coming off at the next. Yeah, I think we're coming off at the next road. I'm going to bring my... Uh, larger sat nav it's smaller and uh, yeah 19 miles to go making really good progress we used about a quarter of a tank on this trip so this is this was still a pretty far trip um i think the last one was uh, worth so much because we were actually coming across on the ferry and uh, doing it that way and it was a 24 hour trip this was only 12 and coming into loads now where are we going to go? We need to go red light. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. Unfortunately, I can't see the lights. There we go. Right, perfect. Let's see how much we can get for this. I think it's. I, I, I think it's about twenty-eight. No, it wasn't twenty. It wasn't as much as that. I think it was about twenty-four thousand. We're due to get from this. Uh, it is it is just gone ten past seven, so we've lost a little bit of time, I think. I had to do a quick pull over, but we are still here in plenty of time. Oh, Katowice! Straight on. I've been there as well. But we're not going there now. We are going to take a right and go around here. 
Somebody did suggest, I remember what it was at the start of this video that I was trying to remember. Uh, and it was basically that somebody suggested that I pull off in uh, a higher gear. So I've done a lot of pulling off in uh, in fourth, uh, sorry, in first in the last video. And somebody suggested, oh, you should you should pull off in fourth instead. Go in there. We've discovered a recruitment agency. We don't have any drivers here. We want to turn down here and into here. Yes, into here. And we're gonna go and park this up. I'm guessing it'll be round the far side. Now, we want, where do you need it? Because we want the maximum XP. Confirm that. And it's going to be around the back. And I think we're going to be in luck here. Because it's go we're going to end up heading round. Ooh. Wow, this is, this is tight. Oh, right. Okay. No, it's not going to be where I thought it was. They want them right in the corner there. So let's spin this round and see if I can't get this. Right, okay. Got one eye on the far one. Can't see. My worry is I can't see how close I am to the wall. I think what we should do is pull forward. Just get this into a position Ooh, where I can see where I'm going. See, we were going to back it into completely different place. Back. There we go. Uh, hour and 21 minutes. Uh, there we go. Perfect. 1,063. And we have made it into level 24, which is where we were last time. I have no idea why it didn't save. But here we are. There we go. All done. Uh, and as last time, we will up ourselves for the just-in-time delivery. So, yeah, pretty much got ourselves where we were last time. With fifty thousand pound or uh, fifty thousand euros less, I am going to save this this time. So there we go. We'll save it over that. Yes, I want to overwrite the old save. Perfect. So there we go. <clears throat> Let's head out and look at our truck. Yeah. So that is that job done. Uh, we have completed this. I am going to leave this here as a result. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.